in this module, we shall continue our conversation on insurance and takaful. In particular, we shall be looking at mudaraba based takaful model in this module. We have already looked at wakala based takaful model in the previous module, and the focus here would be on the mudaraba based takaful model, which was actually developed even before the wakala based takaful model. The primary reason for the emergence of wakala based takaful model was some criticism which mudaraba based takaful model received. Hence, it was replaced with a wakala based takaful model in many cases. In some cases, takaful operators continued with the mudaraba based takaful model with some modifications. This is going to be explained in this module anyway. Now, what are the problems with the, the Mudarba model? We will go into details in a bit, but before that, just a generic model of uh, Mudarba based Takaful model is presented. You will see that this figure, this diagram, is not different from the Wakala based Takaful model, except that here we are saying that the management would be based on Mudarba. In case of Wakala, we say Mudarba uh, management of the risk fund and investment fund is on the basis of Wakala. So, someone may say that all other things remain unchanged. So, it is only the difference of changing Wakala with Mudarba. No, there are actually quite a number of differences in details. Now, the basic criticism of Mudarba based model was with reference to the payment of a fixed fee to the Takaful operator. Remember, we said the Takaful operator receives a fixed fee for the management of risk fund and the investment fund, and it may receive a performance based bonus as well. In case of Mudarba, this is not permissible. As uh, by now, you must have memorized the definition of Mudarba by heart. Mudarba is a profit sharing arrangement, there is no fixed fee. So, when Takaful operator was receiving a fixed fee in addition to a profit share in the investment fund or even in some cases in the risk fund as well, that was deemed as Sharia repugnant, i.e. not in compliance with the Sharia requirement. So, that was the first criticism of the Mudaraba based Takaful model. Another thing which we mentioned towards the end of the last module was this liquidity facility. In certain circumstances, when there are not enough funds in the risk fund in such a way that the amount of claims is greater than the amount of money in the risk fund, the Takaful operator may offer a liquidity facility, i.e. an interest free loan to the Takaful fund. In case of Mudaraba, this is actually not permissible. So, these two elements, they were crucial in terms of criticism on Mudaraba, which ended up replacement of Mudaraba with Wakala. A solution, however, was devised by way of allowing the Takaful operator to receive fixed amounts of money from the Takaful fund, what may be deemed as an account, as on account. 
so for certain time period it was uh, allowed for the mudarba based takaful operations to continue and in some cases they still continue with these modifications so there is an allowance in case of mudarba of course profit distribution would take place at the end of the mudarba or at least on an annual basis in case of takaful operations the takaful operator would like to have the fee on an ongoing ongoing basis this is permissible to do so even in case of mudarba if the amount drawn by the manager is considered as on account on account ka matlab ye hai ki jab aapka jo share banega wo dekh lenge pehle thodi thodi rakam aap lete rahe so that towards the end when your profit distribution is determined you will get your profit share minus the amounts you have already received on account so this was a compromise which was suggested uh, as uh, a kind of replacement for the existing practices of the mudarba based takaful model now this was not ideal okay however this was just a compromise solution in the short run similarly for the liquidity management it was proposed to keep the surplus money in the risk fund and into an excess fund so whenever there was excess amount available in the risk fund in the wakala based model we said that that part of this excess money would go into investment fund and part would be taken by the takaful operator So in this case, it was decided in case of Mudarba that that excess money would not go into the investment fund, but rather it would stay there in a sub account in the risk fund, which will be called excess fund. If the size of the excess fund was big enough, the takaful operator was allowed to draw down fixed amounts or certain percentage of the amount in the excess fund. as its on account fee so this was another modification in mudarba model so the mudarba model if this is being practiced anywhere in the world this is being practiced with these modifications i e the the kaful operator receives a fixed fee but not not as its entitlement but rather on account so that at the end of the year whenever profit is determined whatever is the profit share of the takaful operator that is received minus the fixed amounts it has already received during the year similarly if the excess fund as defined here by myself if this is big enough then ideally the takaful operator should have that on account amount from that excess fund rather than from the participants contribution these are the major limitations of mudarba based model because of that many takaful operators prefer not to use it anymore rather wakala and some other models are being used in the takaful industry